a mysterious man who apparently has a good bit of money uh, has seen Paul Ferguson's case all over YouTube, and he can't help but be interested, apparently because he has a son with Asperger's, according to him, and he thinks that that is something Paul Ferguson has, and so therefore he wants to meet with him, be his friend, and help him out a lot, as you're about to see. Let me just show you some of these video call visits between this secret man and Paul Ferguson. Hello? Hi. Hi, Paul. Uh, my name's Randy. I've been trying to get a hold of you for some time. It's been difficult. Um, my family and I have, we're watching your case and we feel that you have not been treated fairly and we want to try and help um, you. All right. All right. Um, I can't I'm hear you, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, well, I just wondered, is there anything we can uh, do for you right now at this time? Not really. Already fled. If you, you need can. money in your commissary, or I can certainly try and do that. Um, I've never communicated with the jail before, but I think I can put some money in your commissary. Um, do you know? I've been trying to get a hold of your attorney, too. Um, uh, do you know how to get a hold of him? Clearly. I don't have his number okay. or anything. I can give you his name. Well, I'll keep trying. Uh -huh. It's um, Joshua Elden Brady. All right. He's not very yeah, easy to reach either. All I have is... Yeah. Did I wake you up? I'm sorry. Um, I didn't know what I'm, time to schedule I'm not a meeting. I'm awake in the morning. But well, it looks like we only got five minutes left. Yeah, my older brother. Are you uh, getting help from anyone? Commentary money every other week when he gets paid. Okay. <laughs> this is the most painful call I've ever seen. Jail or no jail, this is awful. He only wants to talk. Paul only wants to talk when this guy's talking. And this guy is talking about helping you in many, many ways that you don't deserve. You're just like. I mean, no, I guess you can't help me. I've already pled. No, I don't need any money. My older brother sends me money every other week. Dude, this guy makes me mad. He's stupid. Sorry. Well, how about, how about you look alive? You got this like amazing opportunity you shouldn't even have. It's crazy though, because you know, as you probably all know, anytime you have a case like this, it doesn't matter what you do or how bad it is or who you did it to. There's always somebody out there who wants to, Oh, you did something awful. I'd like to be the one to come visit you and give you $15,000. I think you're a great guy. You just need someone like me in your corner. Like what is, what is wrong with both of these guys? But anyways, it's far from being over. There are 10, 11, 12, 13 more calls. And we got a lot of highlights to get to here. People, this guy, when he's not talking over his buddy, his mystery man, buddy here, he's saying some things that are probably going to really fire you up. If you're anything like me, let's get back to it. Do you, I don't know how to put this. We, um, just to give you a little background, I'm a, uh, uh, we have three kids. Uh, they're all around your age. Our son is 23. But like I said, we got watching the case. Um, I just felt terrible for, I feel that you were not treated fairly in this. And uh, we wanted to try and help you as best we can. Do you, uh, you going to be sentenced on the 29th, I understand? Thank like you, Val. Okay, it was postponed. Yeah. 26th of Do you know till when? Well, I guess I can try and find that out. Six. 
25th, 26th of February. Boy, that's rough. And being in the worst jail in Muskegon doesn't um, help. Is your attorney giving you any And being uh, in the worst jail here? in Muskegon does, ahead, in Michigan sorry. doesn't help. He was really proud of that sentence. He had to say it twice. Being in the worst jail and Henry doesn't help. I, 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 I said being in the worst jail doesn't help. I'm in the worst jail. Me. Sure. I imagine, buddy. That's. I've never been incarcerated, so I don't. I can't imagine what you're going through. Um. But. All right. I don't know what else I can ask you right now. We're running out of time. But. Do you want to schedule? I was thinking. I mean, if this initial visit went well, um, we can schedule a visit with uh, the rest of my family. We can meet you. I have no and problem. See with that. how things are going. It'd be nice to talk to someone on the outside. My brother can't really figure out this app. Can you believe this guy? Number one, let me start with the soft blow here. How about this mystery man? Well, you know, I was just planning if everything went great and fantastic with the first visit right here, then maybe I'll bring my whole family. Yeah, family. You know, because you care so much about family. What if this first visit went well? Is this what you call a well visit? All it was is, hey, I or, or, no, go ahead, no, what, huh? What, no, no, you go ahead. Oh, what, I was in the worst jail. Is this did this visit go well for you, sir? Okay, you ready to bring the family, grandma and grandpa up here, your cousins? All right, and then how about Paul Ferguson over here? He never fails to come through with some just crap <laughs> yeah i mean that'd be nice it'd be nice to talk to somebody on the outside my brother he doesn't know rich he still ain't figured out how to work this app this this old jail phone call app brother if you wanted to talk to somebody on the outside you had a brother i guess you couldn't figure out how to not torture him to death <laughs> your brother wouldn't have to figure out the app if it you know what never mind let's continue Sure. Well, it's complicated, but, you know, I, I try to pretend I'm not that dumb. I can figure things out. Yep. So eventually I got a, was able to do this. But, yes, I we're trying to see if there's some way we can help you over there in Michigan. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say. If there's anything else you can think of that I can do for you right now, I'll certainly try. Reach out to somebody or... Other than, you know, I'll uh, work today. I'm putting some money in your commissary. But is there anything you could think um, of that you would, could use some help with? Not at the moment, currently. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get working on that then. Let's see, what else can we yeah. cover? Do you have any idea, as your attorney, uh, at does times, it communicate I don't with you much at all? really ask too much at this point. Okay. I'm just wondering um, what he thinks your prospects last are. Last I heard it was 9 today. to 15 years. Yeah. <gasps> if the psyche oh, eval goes man. well, so we can, there's a possibility right. we can get that knocked down. Uh, I actually just when had was your evaluation then? Okay. All right. Well, okay. When's a good time to reach um, out to you to have a set of meetings? Time again? of day wise, any time past uh well, any time past I'd say one ish because that's after lunch. Uh, oh, now I see what happened. Now I see what's going on here. This is why this call went so horribly. He just explained to Mystery Man, hey, you need to come reach out anytime after 12, 1, because that's after lunch. See, I'm no good until I've got my sandwich in me, my ham sandwich. And see, see how today you're doing this at 940? It's no good. I'm not. You got to get me after my sandwich. 
and my pack of crackers and my little milk. Then we can talk business, Mr. Man. All right, let's move on to a new call where he explains a little more about where he's at and what's going on with him in this prison, this jail. All right. I'm sorry. Yes. Your dad, that's Timothy's dad too? Is he Timothy? Oh. And my sister, who you probably also saw, does not want anything to do with me. Yeah, I saw that, Paul. It was hard to listen to that. Um, Which she is... seems to be angry towards you as well. Uh, Did you get along with we her We mostly just before, stayed out of or... each other's way. Okay. Yeah. Is she younger than you? I guess of the biological siblings now, I'm the middle. I don't know. Okay. Well, 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 what do you know? As promised, he brought his other family members up there. I guess that first visit just went so dang well. Hey, here's my family, Paul. You see anybody you'd like to starve? Anyways... Yeah, so you hear him there talk about his uh, sister. Doesn't want anything to do with him. Not a big shocker. And he asks more about her, and he's like, yeah, well, you know, we mostly stay out of each other's way. I bet they do stay out of your freaking way, buddy. Oh, jeez. I'll set up an appointment for Monday at 1. I'll probably Monday Very put some more money like in your that. commissary, if that's okay. Okay. Um, and yes, then um, Monday also I'll drop in the mail, I'll try to, this yeah. postcard with yeah. our contact yeah. information. Or maybe I'll have Isaac's email on there too if you want to yeah. try and contact Just a heads up, it'll probably at least take a couple me. of days to get to me because the guards here can be stingy. Yeah, you safe there, uh, Paul? I uh, am, I'm in uh, I the mean, protected uh, pod. Mostly it's uh, okay. CSC and other stuff like that. People who are older and more, uh, I guess not frail, but more likely to be victimized by bigger, younger inmates. Yeah. I, yeah. We, we're really worried for you. We pray for you because um, that's a very hard environment. I've never been in jail, but... Yeah. I've worked with some really hard convicts before, so I just, I'm glad to hear that you're doing okay. Is there anything in particular um, you need from the commissary? Or? Need? Uh, yeah, I mean. Are you staying warm at night? I, or? I, I wouldn't say I need a pillow. I mean, I have a makeshift one because the pillows on the commissary are like 35 bucks, which is ludicrous. Yeah. If you think that's ludicrous, go pillow shopping at Target, buddy. I, I just went this past weekend. <laughs> Ripped me to shreds in that checkout aisle. But anyways, yeah, this guy's like, yeah, I'm in the CSC pod, which is criminal sexual conduct, stuff like that. And he's like, yeah, it's where they put all the older guy. No, it's where they put people with really crappy charges like yourself crimes against children that's that's what it's for it's not for old people you're not just a young guy in a room full of old guys we'll put you here no you, you you're, you're all there it's just you're, you're with a bunch of old guys who did crimes against children and and you as well have done crimes against children and so you're there because they know if you're not there and you're out there with anybody else who's in here for anything else they're going to get you okay Man, it's just crazy. See, you need... Now, Paul, I, I'm sorry, but I just... I, I gotta make sure I have to ask you again. Is there any way possible I can give you more money? Talk to me, Paul. Come on. Come on. Give me specifics. I need to know things you need. Tell me now. What do they cost? I'm putting a budget together for you, Paul. Please help me help you. Take my money now. Gosh... You know, there's guys in there for, like, crimes that aren't really that bad who, like, have families and stuff that you can help, like, if you really want to help. <sighs> Whatever. Hey, it's your money, buddy. Do what you want with it. Um, 
I got one more thing I want you to hear. And this is, sorry, I got it wrote down. Uh, oh boy. This mystery man, I guess his name is Randy at this point, mentions that he saw the video of Paul pulling Timothy out of the room by his hair. And not even I have heard this. I'm kind of making this video as I go listening to these calls and then I just chime in. So I don't even know what he's going to say, but let's hear it. Friend of mine. So we just discussed this and, you know, watch some of your videos. The um, prosecuting attorney there, he told me there was a video, uh, Matthew is his name, he said that there's a video of you pulling Timothy out of his room by his hair. I you know honestly that Sean don't even take that video. remember that video. I don't remember that moment. Really? Interesting. Okay. That's interesting to know. I, I know it's been a while, but I feel like I would remember no. something like that. Yeah, all right. I'm glad he told me this. I'm going to look into this then, as best as I can. What? Hang on. What? Who? Me? You saw a video of me doing that? You sure? You sure it wasn't AI? Get the heck out of here, Paul. That man. This man. Okay, I don't agree with his choices here, but I mean, he's got his reasons, and he's clearly not a dumb guy. I think he knows when he sees a video of you doing that. Okay. Yeah, I, oh, man, I think I'd, huh, I'd remember something like that. I, oh, nope. <laughs> yeah, um, interesting. Hmm. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad you told me that. I'm glad you told me that because now I know you're a huge lying piece of crap. And I'm going to get out of here and I'm taking all my money off your account. That's what I wish he would have said, but he didn't. He, oh, I'm going to look into that. I'm going to look at, look into what? Anyways, there's your calls. Now, if you're wondering, let me tell you something. You've heard just snippets of the crap <laughs> coming out of these phone calls with this mystery man and Paul Ferguson. If you want to hear the entirety, I mean, just the first set of phone calls is like 29 minutes long. Listen, there are five videos over there on phone calls from prison, the YouTube channel. They are the ones responsible for getting these. They got these first before anyone else. You're going to find them over there before you find them anywhere else on YouTube and always... As always, grateful to them for choosing me to be the one they work with and giving me first access to these calls right along with them uh, so we can make these videos for you guys. So if you want to hear all those calls, and there's probably 11, 12, 13 calls where they talk about all kinds of stuff, family dynamics, I mean, just, just everything. So much more than you saw here, uncut, uninterrupted, without me yapping and, 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 and talking crap. Head on over to Phone Calls from Prison. Great channel. Subscribe. And thanks for watching my video. See you next time.